Hey there, hello and welcome. It is Madeline here and tonight I am talking about stress management. The second step in Deepak's seven steps of healing anxiety, depression, and stress, right? You'll recall last week or several days ago, I shared Deepak's message where Deepak's video where he's talking about how anxiety and depression and stress is a global crisis and that these mood disorders are really at the the are really the underlying cause of a lot of the illnesses that we're seeing in society and in medicine today. And in that video, he shared his seven steps for healing anxiety and depression naturally. And I'm sharing them with you because they're the steps. They're not necessarily these steps, but they're all included, right, in my primordial power program for healing anxiety and depression and stepping into your best life. So today we're talking about step two, right? Step one was, it doesn't matter if you didn't see step one video, they really all kind of stand alone. And then when you bring them all together, you see the big picture about how you can heal your anxiety and depression and stress in general, right? So step one was sleep, right? That's the most important thing that you can do for your overall well-being and fabulousness is get good sleep, natural good sleep every night. And so, and now we're talking about stress management, okay? And that's for lack of a better term. That's a term that Deepak used, and I really don't like this term, okay? Just like I don't like the term with like dealing with anxiety or dealing with depression or treating it, because I really think that all of these things need to be healed. And that when you heal, when you get at the root cause, right, at the underlying thing that is fueling your anxiety and or depression, then when there, is, when there are external stressors, they don't need to be stressors inside. Does that make sense? Okay. So let me know what you think in the comments. So, but I'm going to continue with stress management, right, for lack of a better term, right, right now. And step number two is essentially expanding your mindful awareness, okay? Expanding your mindfulness and expanding your awareness of which the best way to do that, plain and simple, is with meditation, right? And tonight in day three or four of our meditation challenge. I'm talking about why it is that we meditate, right? Why you want to meditate. Why should you meditate? And I love that these corresponded on the same day when I didn't plan it that way. Uh, but the universe, I love it when the universe shows me that it's paying attention in instances like this. So step number two, is stress management, which Deepak further translated into mindful awareness. So what does that mean? That means being mindful and aware of, consciously aware, because we go through so much of our days and in our life on autopilot, right? Just going through the motions, not really paying attention to what's going on around us, right? So this step is about expanding our awareness so we are present and that we do notice the many important and beautiful things that are going around, that are going on in our lives. So specifically, this is expanding our awareness around our thoughts. We talked about thoughts in two days of the meditation challenge already, right? What are you thinking? Being aware of our thoughts as opposed to just having your thoughts run away from you. Maybe I shared with you for the first time in day one or two of the meditation challenge that you are not your thoughts. You are the thinker of your thoughts. And turn your attention to the one who's listening. That awareness, that's the real you. And that's who we're trying, that's the awareness that we're trying to expand with meditation with this step, okay? Once you expand that awareness, then you can notice Pay attention to and change, most importantly, change your thought patterns, that mental chatter 
the voice of the inner critic. You can turn that voice of an inner critic into an inner love, right? Then you can notice the dynamics of your relationships, right? The factors of your relationships and evaluate them to see if they're good for you or not and how you can modify them so they can serve you, okay? Be aware of what's going on around you and decide if you want to be a part of it, okay? Notice your environment and how it's impacting you. For example, do you have toxins in your environment, okay? That could be physical pollution. That could be toxins that you are consuming in your food and drink, toxicity that you are taking in in media and social media, toxicity that you're taking in in the people around you, okay? When you become aware of these things, then you can change them and they all need lead to be aware, being aware of yourself, right? That's right. And then when you become aware of all these things, they trickle down into yourself, you expand your awareness of yourself and then you can be more in control of your behavior, your thoughts, your words, your actions, your emotions, right? The only four things that we have control over and then really take charge of your life, your health, and your well-being. Does that make sense? Okay, all right. So meditation, again, if I didn't make that clear, meditation is the best way to do all of those things, to expand your awareness. It's actually one of the primary reasons that we meditate. And if you're seeing this not in my group and you haven't you want to be a part of the meditation challenge, you can still join, right? All the videos are there and you can catch up at your own pace in my private Facebook group, okay? I'll put the link somewhere in this post. Okay, the second thing, which I also talked about in my meditation challenge, lots of goodness in the meditation challenge. If you're not again, if you're not participating, you can go and catch up at your own at your own pace and it doesn't matter when you come in, okay? So the next thing is pranayama or breath work, right? Breath, breathing exercises. As I talked about in the early days of the meditation challenge, like Uncle George said, right? If you need to learn how to control your breath, right? Breath is the very essence of breathing. We come into this life with the breath. We leave this life with the breath. If you can't control your breath, you can't control your life, okay? So we start right away by learning to pay attention to and controlling our breath. And these are all things that I teach in depth and help you in my Primordial Power program and help you incorporate and integrate into your life, okay? Additionally, with the breathing exercises, right? And this is, breathing exercises have an immediate positive response on your physiology, okay? So if you are so anxious, right? Well, if you're anxious at all, it's having a negative physical impact on your physiology. If you have severe anxiety or extreme anxiety, high anxiety, you're feeling that in your body, aren't you? Okay. Pranayama, breath work, breathing exercises is a nice way to relieve that physical stress immediately. Okay. You start feeling better immediately. All right. So look for that. And... The group and in other posts okay and then i mean i just sum that up in a few minutes but these are really powerful practices and really powerful steps all of the seven steps that i'm going to talk about over the next several days are really simple right and you probably already know that if you apply these things integrate these these practices into your life that you'll start feeling better Right, that you'll be able to relieve your anxiety, you'll be able to heal your anxiety, and then you'll start feeling like yourself again, right? Because you're gonna start sleeping better. You're gonna start feeling like yourself again. The fog is going to lift, right? That brain fog is going to lift. You'll be able to concentrate better, think more clearly. You'll be nicer to the people around you, your loved ones, your coworkers, people who yourself and yourself. And as a result, you'll start feeling better and you'll be on the road 
to healing your anxiety so um, or depression or trauma. So as I mentioned, we do all this in my Primordial Power program because, and why should you consider exploring my Primordial Power program? Because I'm not telling you anything you don't already know, am I? No, that's right, right? You know what you should be doing, but your anxiety, your situation, your depression, your trauma is such that it's so heavy that you can't get out from underneath it on your own. That's where my secret weapon comes in, which is mental and emotional release and the breakthrough session, which I'll talk about more at another time, which is where we, we release that, right? In a matter of a couple days, we release that, we wipe the slate clean, so then you are in a place where you can move forward, implement these positive practices and start feeling good right away. Guarantee it. Okay, so if you'd like to explore that with me, right, I invite you to a complimentary breakthrough call. So, and it's really, so if you're feeling anxiety and depression, you're on your way to a breakdown, all right? I know I've been there and I've recovered. It's not pretty, okay? I wanna get to you before you get to the breakdown. If you've had the breakdown, I can still help you, right? It's just, you know, this, the hill is just more steep, but it's still, it's still doable, right? We can heal. The, the moral of today's story and all of my stories are we can heal your anxiety and depression. You can be free of those things and feel good. Start to feel like yourself again. Yeah. And really start enjoying life and bring joy and purpose into your life again. So if you'd like to explore what that could look like, again, I invite you to my complimentary breakthrough call. And you do that by going to madelinecorea.com forward slash talk and um and grab a spot that works for you all right and i'll look forward to talking with you soon um oh madeline Correa. i don't know if i said that already please forgive me madelinecorea.com forward slash talk and i'll put the link in the comments below as well so i'll look forward to seeing you in the next video and or at tonight's live uh, meditation for the meditation. We are in day four, I think, of the meditation challenge. If you want to be a part of that, if you're in the group, just show up live tonight at 7 p.m. If you're not, you're watching this somewhere outside of my group, I'll put the link someplace, join the group, and you can hang out with us tonight live at 7 p.m. or you can catch the replays at your convenience. So I hope this serves you. Let me know what questions you have. Grab your spot, book that call right away, and I will look forward to seeing you again soon. And until then, I will see you in the gap. Namaste. Be blessed. Mwah.